the PSMO initiated campaign of low value uh, and unnecessary practices uh, that we see in the community. And uh, my topic was actually on multidisciplinary team approach. Do not initiate or plan for treatment of curative disease without inputs from a multidisciplinary oncology team. We were happy to have this Choosing Wisely Philippines for the first time here in the Philippines. Uh, we were able to do a campaign on low value, unnecessary practices that we see commonly in our countries that results to a poor patient outcome. And we were able to give at least 10 campaign uh, statements that we think will help the community in terms of educating them on proper treatment of cancer so that it will result to high, high quality and be better patient outcome. My talk is actually looking at a multidisciplinary team approach in the management of cancer in the Philippines. Uh, it is a very necessary approach for cancer. They say that multi-specialty or more heads is better than one. It will be good in terms of curative intent of our patients. We want to uh, educate the community and patient that to, to ask your physician to have a multidisciplinary in terms of your treatment planning because it will really affect the uh, the way that you can be treated on and the outcome of patients. The MDT in the Philippines is a process. I think there are more challenges being in a low and middle income uh, country. We have cost is one, really geographic barriers because we are an island nation. We are separated by islands and we have a few uh, cancer centers that are usually and mostly located in more urban uh, cities like Manila and Cebu. I think despite of these economic geographical barriers, we have to do something about it as a, uh, as a society and as a specialties and as a country and policy making body to, to actually mandate this in, in the treatment of cancer and to overcome these barriers for our patient. With the universal health care law and the recently uh, implementing rules and regulation of the National Integrated Cancer Control Act, it was uh, signed and it is a, a actually a law now and it's in the process of doing the what we call the Philippine Cancer Center, Cancer Registry and having a dream that we have more cancer centers in in the provinces and a centralized tumor board. It would be a dream and I, I, I hope it will be uh, implemented soon and uh, moving forward I think this is how we have to do. We have to have a good tumor registry, a, a cancer center and of course a dedicated uh, MDT as much as possible in, in all institutions but at, at least for uh, cancer centers per region. As an immediate past president of PSMO, I really am very glad that we have this initiative in Congress and you involved the Philippines as one of your uh, countries to be having a choosing wisely. It is a good initiative and we hope to have a collaboration with the e-cancer global uh, cancer uh, group for future projects here in the Philippines.